What's up, y'all? I am Mona. Welcome back. Or if you are new here, thank you for tuning in. So today, I want you all to check out this clip that I found. It's actually going viral. I want to say this video got over 10 million views within the last day. And this woman goes on a story time about her former best friend and how her former best friend was being a home-wrecking 304. So she basically calls her out. So let's get into this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Summer and you live in Bloomfield Hills with your husband Thada and your two absolutely gorgeous children. Your husband's cheating on you with my best friend or ex-best friend, I should say. Now mm. just a little backstory. Me and my ex-best friend were out about a year and a half ago. I'm talking the middle of 2022 at a very, very popular hookah lounge in Dearborn Heights. This very handsome guy, I'm not gonna lie, he's a handsome man. This very handsome man came up to my ex-best friend, asked her for her number and got her information. Now, mind you, I am not making any excuses for her, but she did not know he was married in the beginning. And pay attention to in the beginning because that's very important. Now, she fell head over heels for this man very quickly, but he would always disappear after 10 o'clock. She would call him. She would text him. She didn't know where he lived. She didn't have a lot of information on him. So me and her started doing some digging of our own. So if you know anything about me at all, you know that I can find pretty much anything on anyone. So about six months into their relationship, I did some digging on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, any website that I could possibly think of. And I found out that he's married to you, Summer, with two kids. Mm. So being the girl's girl that I am, I went and I told my ex-best friend. And she did not give a fuck. Her exact reply was, well, I bet I can take him away from her. Bitch, excuse me? Now, being that she was my best friend of six, almost seven years, I thought eventually she's going to come to her senses. So another six months goes by. And now he's planning on leaving you, Summer. He wants to leave you and get engaged to my ex-fucking best friend. That mm. home wrecking ass bitch. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, <laughs> oh my God, where's your loyalty to your best friend? My loyalty lies with the woman that's getting her home wrecked. Okay, 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 okay. That part. Wrong. I told her he's never gonna leave his fucking family for you. But guess what, Summer? Now, exactly a year and a half into their relationship, he's planning to do exactly that. He's planning to divorce you, leave your two kids, and go run away on some fucking cozy island with that bitch. And I will be damned if I let that happen because you guys know I do not stand for that shit. Thadok has absolutely no information about Summer on his Facebook, on his Instagram, on his LinkedIn, anywhere. There's a couple photos of you, Summer, but I wasn't going to do you like that. I'm not going to put your picture on for millions to see because I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if you have social anxiety. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't think you want to be exposed like that. I have absolutely no contact with my ex-best friend because I don't want any of that nasty shit that she's doing in my life. But one of her very close friends, pay attention, Summer, told me that they're going to be at Texas de Brazil this friday and he's gonna pop the question while he's still married to you mm. so do what you will with that information but do not hurt the messenger so boost this up you guys i need it to reach summer in bloomfield hills michigan standing on motherfucking business we so she put the whole information she said y'all need to get this information because what i'm not going to do is i am not going to stand by and be neck to neck shoulder to shoulder with another woman who intentionally voluntarily decides to break sister code that's not a part of the girls girls camp while she gallivants town with your husband i'm not going to stand by and watch and kudos to you kudos to you and let me make sure i give her some credit her name is Mana Bay. She's over on TikTok. As you guys heard in the clip, stood on business for her fellow sister. Could have definitely been one of those women that was like, you know what? I am going to sit by and, you know, see how this plays out <clears throat> alongside of you and support another woman getting hurt. The conversations that I hear, we talk about being a girl's girl and, you know, what that looks like. I don't really think that y'all are really standing on business because this woman stood on business. This woman could have very well said, you know what, I'm going to get by you, listen to all the details while you creep along her husband. 
the destruction of her family as well as tearing this woman down just like mana said in the video he's not going to leave his wife for you very seldom will married men leave their wives now they may say they're going to leave their wife and they may string you along they will still have sex with you give you trinkets you know late night creep with you you know see you the day after those special holidays he'll go along with that and you will continue to believe that you will you know be pushed and thrust into that wife role and you never will and i commend her for standing on principles and having integrity and being a solid woman who said that i was not going to stand by idly and allow my friend to or my ex-friend i'm not going to be a participant and also this is what we talk about about separating ourselves from women who want to be on bs and want to be on demon time she tried to have a conversation with her friend in an attempt to you know help her to look at the bigger picture and her friend was not convinced so you got to get away from women like that because there's no convincing them you can have all the evidence in front of them and they're still going to believe and not please do not take anything that i am saying as me co-signing on this husband because i do not co-sign on and i do not support men or women husbands or wives cheating in their relationships i do not co-sign that because she could have been her friend could have been one of those women that met this man and he never was forthcoming and even if she asked him and he still lied and then the moment that she found out like she said they did some digging okay they put their um what you want to call it their detective hats on and this is so funny to me too because women we swear we have women's intuition and we can see things and peep things but we can never peep when a man is lying to us and being dishonest but we have all this intuition so you didn't see that this man was married you couldn't pick up the vibes that he was married man and then once you got the evidence that this man was married you still decided to go along with it and you basically told your friend mind your business and hey i would need to get away from you as well because a lot of men would not be able to do the things that they do and cheat on and step out of their marriages if it weren't for women like her friend who didn't stand on the sisterhood y'all keep saying there's a sisterhood and we are girls girls and this woman here and she is just one of many women if you go over on TikTok or in these other social media platforms we see these stories all the time many of us may know you know people who have slept with been the other women or the other woman I should say in these relationships and maybe we have been in situations where we have been cheated on and if women really cared about each other the way that they said they would they would back away from men whom they know or their antennas went up that this man was involved with another woman had an entire family that he was involved in you would not participate in that because you would not want to see the demise of a relationship you would not want to be a participant you are a willing participant at that point now it's one thing if when a man lies to you and that's very uh that's very foul that is very foul men should not lie to women but we know some men do but the moment that you got that information you had a couple of choices you could have left this man alone or you could have like you did you continued and instead of going for the discontinuation of that relationship despite how you felt about it you wanted to stick around to convince yourself and try to prove a point that you were better than this woman that you could be this woman that you could steal her entire life and i'm here to tell y'all women who have those mentalities it will never fail well farewell for you because even if that man leaves his wife he's not going to be faithful to you you will be the wife and he gonna he will have another side chick and i am not again excusing his behavior but women if y'all cared about each other the way you would you would do exactly what mana is doing here calling out her friend because she cared about her friend and also she does not want to see her friend be involved in a messy situation and allow herself to play second fiddle to a man that has no respect for her he does not respect you 
And so you are okay with that. And your friend is trying to say, hey, you know what? I wouldn't do that if I were you. And she didn't want to do it. So you got to wash your hands with individuals like that and keep it moving. And you've done the best that you could do. So I was actually surprised when I seen uh, all those comments from women in her comment section. I could not make it through every single comment, but I want to just read some of the comments because, you know, it's quite interesting the things that I see because for the lot of the commentary that I see online, it's very much pales in comparison to the comments. So here someone says, I'm sure he's telling your friend he's going to leave summer, but chances are that he won't. And you're awesome for doing this. And then here, a woman from Georgia is saying, rooting for summer all the way from Georgia. Another woman, you're so real for this. And then here's a woman that's saying she is going to go down to the restaurant. She's saying, hold up, I got to get a front row seat. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I do hope that women, you know, when you are faced with these situations and, you know, I'm going to say this too, because I'm kind of getting my train of thought, you know, going wild. But I want to say this. It's quite funny that when we hear these conversations and then we have all these comments of women supporting her and her efforts to hold her friend accountable and bring her out, you know, and make the public aware of this because, she basically saying, if you are brazen enough to cheat with another woman's husband, then you are brazen enough and you have to be held to that same standard because I'm going to call you out publicly. She didn't put her name out there. And thankfully, she had enough respect for this other woman to not release her identity, you know, outside of her name and her general area. But I will say this, and, and she didn't post her picture, so kudos to her for that. But I will say this, that it's quite funny that... You women will make these comments about this. But then on the same breath, I hear a lot of women say, well, you know, I don't know who that woman is. She doesn't know who I am. But you don't have to know who that woman is to still choose to be a supporter of women to say, I respect family and marriage. And so if all you women are commenting here on this post and saying you are a girl's girl, then you are also in the same breath saying, I respect marriage. I respect family. And we definitely don't want to be willing participants in destroying homes. Now, she's not the only person that's responsible because this is this man's marriage. But women who know that men are married, you are not a girl's girl. You are not in the sisterhood. You are only out for yourself. You don't have any care or respect for other women. And you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should be ashamed of yourself. So let me know what you guys think about this matter down in the comments section. If you have enjoyed my commentary, please leave a like. Share this video with someone else. Also consider subscribing to my channel. Until the next video, peace. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Peace, y'all.